Oh, hello again. Good to see you. So, I needed a few more LEDs on my uh, shirt. And I guess I did just that. I had the arms and the legs before. And I have some non-programmable LEDs in the middle. Um, now I have something a bit more interesting. So this is 24 times 32. Kind of all I was able to fit um, with that pitch. I'm hoping to get some higher pitch uh, in matrices later, but that's what I have for now. So I'll just uh, go through the different patterns that are being displayed. It's all being done by that small ESP8266 here. It's actually driving one, two, and three panels separately in parallel, so I get a 10 second mini, a 10 second refresh. And then at the same time, it's also updating the arms and the legs. So I go through different patterns. Some I wrote myself, like the text. Uh, some came from uh, Mark Estes, who wrote those patterns for a uh, coffee table with, uh, I think, a 64 times 64 matrix. And I was able to reuse some of this code. Uh, and able to basically use it for my shirts, and some actually look quite nice. Um, the zooming font, I actually, I'm using the Adafruit GFX library and uh, pre-computed font sizes, and I'm just displaying one more size, one after another, to actually get that zooming effect. That's a trans family San Francisco being displayed here. I'm sorry if you don't like trans. <laughs> That's what you're gonna get on this uh, soundtrack. Uh, so let's go through the demos quickly. You can see that one. Yeah, sorry for looking down, I can't otherwise describe them. This one is an animated GIF. That one is a bitmap that I can scroll up and down using the GFX library. That one's another animated GIF. A different effect with the same font. This time I'm using the fast LED uh, fading effect. Obviously, each effect lasts longer, but if I show them all, there's actually, I think, 26 of them. It would take 15 minutes or so, so I'm making it a bit shorter. You get the idea. Um, another end of the GIF goes at a star pat a random star pattern. The fireworks, I really, really like the fireworks. Uh, that code came from many people past <laughs> over the years. Um, when I was at EDC in Vegas, they actually had real fireworks every night and then I would display it down on my shirt at the same time and people totally loved it. That, uh, that pattern was actually meant for uh, just a little strip like this one. Uh, but actually, that looks very nice on the matrix as you can see. That one's called Fried. I got that from Sublime Artists, I believe. Uh, quite nice actually. I really like this one too, and people who are on something, they just mesmerize look at my shirt. <laughs> it's quite hypnotizing, obviously. The matrix effect, basic but still nice. That's actually using, instead of using the Adafruit GFX library and, and my Neo matrix library, I call it to fast LED. I'm using the separate LED matrix library, uh, which has Sprite support. So those sprites are being animated uh, kind of manually because the default sprites are not meant to be bouncing in corners, they only go up and down. But I was able to reuse the, uh, the sprite graphics, I didn't have to write my own Pac-Man, which is a bit not the best use of my time. So it gets a pill, and it eats the ghost, and 200 points, and you can see the ghost eyes going away. People actually like that, and there's actually people who are showing Pac-Man signs and when I show up with that, they're like, ah, so cool! So that's a nice plasma effect. I'm actually using, looking at, I'll show you later how it works. I'm using it for amps actually right now, just displaying that front and back. And yes, I said back, we'll look at it uh, in a little bit. Uh, then we have bubbles. That's another demo that was meant for uh, LED strip, but actually works nicely on the matrix too. A different effect uh, that I got from Mark Estes. Get another one from him. I actually got a lot of demos from him. I think he, he had over a hundred that I picked 
like my 10 or 15 favorite ones. A different uh, kind of uh, farm zooming, again trans family, San Francisco. Growing. So yeah, I can display random text. Uh, of course, I have a problem that the text cannot be that wide, so I have to choose my words carefully. The rain and thunderstorm. I really love this one, and uh, I got that from Sublime Artist with the uh, the, the lightning. People really love this one, and so do I actually. Another different patterns. More text. Uh, that one's a fire demo uh, using different palettes of colors, simulating different kinds of materials burning. I forget, like magnesium, iron, wood. Um, it looks nice. Another version of the uh, hypnotizing effect once it grows. It starts kind of small and then it grows onto the whole. Screen. And we've gone around. So um, the problem is when I'm facing um, the stage, most people are looking at my back because there's a person in front of me who's not looking at me, and the people behind me are not seeing my front. So how do I fix that? Well, I fix it by having the same exact thing in the back, like this. And there we go. It uses twice the amps, but that way I can show the same thing and people can actually enjoy the pattern on both sides. I hope you enjoyed it.